In the three-year period of its implementation, the NFT Mobility Project has had a positive impact to communities. This initiative is supported by the Private Sector Foundation Uganda and Mastercard Foundation under Enhancing Lead Farm Structure for Youth Employment Program. If I'm trying to help a young man to get a job, right, and all I want to say is I want to get him a job, I must understand the situation he's in today. The situation he's in today is not that I don't have a job. The situation he's in is probably I don't have where to live. I don't have transport. I don't have a uniform. I, I, he doesn't have very many things. Now, when you understand that, which is what we've shown as a beneficiary context, and you're able to now start fixing those bits, then those ambitions are achievable. Areas of impact include increased access to dignified employment, gender mainstreaming in the automotive industry, facilitated access to finance and entrepreneurship development, among others. According to PSFU, at least 500 million shillings was invested in the project. So for us, that's an amazing result. That what started as a simple experiment has led to uh, young people getting new work opportunities within the border border uh, space. We're also even more excited to see that close to 150 of those are young women that have been given an opportunity to penetrate a principally or traditionally male-dominated industry. As it comes to an end, the implementers are convinced it achieved its intended objectives. This is despite being unveiled at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. By the way, Nyamba, this is my smartphone. NFT project helped me a lot. I didn't even know anything about using a smartphone. They trained us to use smartphones and how to ride motorcycles in Kampala. What excited me most is the reception I received as a woman when I went to NFT. They told me they were going to give me a phone because we were going to work through the Uber app. Overall, the project created 571 job opportunities for young delivery associates aged between 18 and 35 years. So to get a person and give them an opportunity to earn up to 1.2 million is not something small. And we thank NFT for finding these people and bridging the gap for us, which is the lack of a bike and the lack of the initiative highlights skills development training and improves employment among youth. Dennis Igor for UBC News.